Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the 3 and D2 guard. Yes, that's the build name. 3 and D2 guard. This build gets contacts, a 99 steel, a 95 speed, a 97 perimeter defense. It can shoot and much, much more, man. Shout out to my boy Cully. He's the one that sent me this build. Make sure you guys hit him with a follow on TikTok. He's going to be posting content on 2K24. And he's always showing me great builds to show to you guys. So I would appreciate it if you guys follow him on TikTok. I'll put it on the screen right now. But if I do forget, the link will be in the description. But before we get into the 3 and D2 guard, can we get 150 likes on this video? 150 likes will be amazing. Also hit that subscribe button. We're currently at 4,539 subscribers, man. 4,539 subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support lately. I really appreciate it. It means so much. It motivates me to keep on uploading. So I really appreciate the support. If we can hit 4.6K before next week, that would be absolutely insane. And I know we could do it. I know we could hit 4.6K before next week. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Let me know if you like it or not. Also, if you guys have any questions or need any help, leave it down in the comments below. And I'll try to respond as quick as I can. Now, let's get into the 3 and D 2 guard. All right, I just wanted to show you guys the build name. It's really called the 3 and D 2 guard. It is not cap. So I just wanted to show you guys the build name. Now we can get into the build. All right, so once you're in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your position a shooting guard. Next is handness. You guys go over left. You guys go over right. I'm going to go with left because that's what I'm more used to, but there is no advantage to either. Jersey number, you guys can pick your favorite number. I'm going to go with 81. All right, so the height you guys want to make this build, you guys want to leave the build at 6'5". This is so we can be fast on this build. This build will have a 95 speed. So you guys will be zooming on the court. You guys will be able to play the lanes, catch up to the guard that you're guarding, and it even will help with chase down blocks because you guys have so much speed on your player. So we want to leave the build at 6'5". Wait, you guys want to put it to 184. Again, just so we can get that speed. When you're a lockdown on 2K, you have to be all over the court, man. You guys have to do switches, especially if you're playing 5v5. You guys got to switch, you got to pick up for players, you got to pinch. You got to do so much as a lockdown. So we want to put that weight down so we can be fast and do everything that we need to do. Wingspan, what you guys want to do, you guys want to max out your wingspan. Anytime you make a lock, you want to max out the wingspan for steals, for interceptions. So you guys want to have a max wingspan on this build. Body shape, you guys can go with solid, defined, built, slight, compact. I'm going to go with slight because that's what I do for all my builds. All right, so upgrading this build. Make sure you guys upgrade this build exactly how I show because just one stat, one stat can get you a completely different build and build name. All right, so first we're going to start off with finishing. What you guys want to do with your close shot, you guys want to make that a 52. We won't be going for standing lobs or post hooks that much because we are on a lockdown. So you guys want to keep it at 52 so we can just get a badge point. Next is your driving layup. What you guys want to do, you guys want to make that a 77. Again, layups are important on this game. I say that in every build video so I can express how important it is. I don't know why 2K made layups so OP this year, but they did. So you guys want to have a driving layup on all your builds, on your point guards, lockdown, centers, everything. Next is our driving dunk. What you guys want to do, you guys want to make that an 86. And when you guys have an 86 driving dunk, you guys do get limitless takeoff on gold. And also, since we have an 86 driving dunk, we also get contact dunks. And as you guys know, limitless takeoff is the best and greatest badge on this game everybody runs it you will not find one build without it so we need that on this build so we definitely want to have an 86 driving dunk standing dunk put that down to 31 we won't go for standing dunks so once you're done with finishing you guys want to go to shooting for shooting what you guys want to do you guys want to make your mid range a 70 we don't want to miss our middies man that's something we do not want to do there are going to be moments where we shoot mid ranges the shot clock is going down we need to take a fade we're gonna have to shoot a mid range or if our teammate passes us the ball and we have to shoot the ball quickly and we're at the mid range we want to make those shots we do not want to miss those so we definitely want to have a 70 mid range on this build next is our three point shot you guys want to make that an 82 and with an 82 three pointer you guys can be consistent you guys will be spotting up majority of the time so with an 82 three pointer you guys can make all your shots and as you guys can see we get all the good catch and shoot badges we get claymore on gold corner specialist gold catch and shoot on gold we also got green machine we can put that on gold we also get limitless range on bronze so we definitely want to put that on as well if we have to shoot a deep shot and i was actually watching a youtuber and he actually had bronze limitless range on his build and he was sparking down i cannot lie so with bronze limitless range you guys can shoot from deep and you guys can green consistently 
from deep with bronze in the base range. Next is our free throw. You guys want to make that a 70. With a 70 free throw, this is just so we could be at 99 at the end. But if you guys do play rec or if you guys do play 5v5, a 70 free throw will come in clutch. Once you're done with shooting, you guys want to go to playmaking. For playmaking, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your pass accuracy a 76. We do not want to throw slow passes. I know we're on a lockdown and you might not be passing the ball every single time, but trust me, you want to have a fast pass accuracy on this game. I have a lockdown build with a low pass accuracy and I kind of regret it because when I pass the ball, I have to really wait for my teammate to be really, really open for me to pass the ball. But if I made the pass accuracy higher on that build, I wouldn't have to worry about that. I would be able to pass the ball at any time. So don't make the mistake that I did and go with a low pass accuracy on a lockdown. Make your pass accuracy a 76. And as you guys can see, we get break starter on gold. We get special delivery on gold. We also get dimer on silver, needle threader silver, which is a good badge as well, and floor general silver. So we can throw on those passing badges if we want to. All handle, you guys want to keep that at 41 because we won't be dribbling. And speed with ball, you guys want to make that a 45. Don't worry about speed with ball too much. We will have a high acceleration and speed. So don't worry about speed with ball. And once you're done with playmaking, you guys want to go to defense. For defense, what you guys want to do, you guys want to make your interior defense a 65. And do not worry about having a 65 interior defense. You will make people miss. As long as you guys play good defense and stay in front of your man and contest them in the paint, they will miss. That paint buff that 2K released a long time ago really, really helped with interior defense. So you guys will be just fine with a 65 interior. And I know I say this every build video, but I do have a 6-3 guard. And he doesn't even have a max interior defense. And I make people miss. If I contest them in the paint, they're missing. So if you guys have a 6-5 with a 7-2 wingspan and a 65 interior defense, they're definitely missing. Next is perimeter defense, which you guys want to do. You guys want to make that a 97. We want to play good on-ball defense on this build. That is our job as a lockdown to play great on-ball defense and get some stops. So we definitely, definitely need a high perimeter defense. And I know you guys see the defensive badges, man. Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame challenger. I heard challenger is a good badge. I was watching the Jono's video. He said challenger is pretty good. Pick Dodger Hall of Fame. Menace Hall of Fame. And you know we need Menace. Menace helps you get more bumps. And it drains the energy of your opponent once you bump them. So we definitely, definitely need Menace on our build. And we get a lot more other badges on the Hall of Fame. But to make our on-ball defense even better, we want to have a 99 steal, man. And with a 99 steal, we get Hall of Fame Interceptor and Hall of Fame Glove. So you guys know our defense is going to be elite, man. I have a lockdown build with a 99 steal and Hall of Fame Glove. The amount of steals I was getting on my lockdown was amazing me. Because anytime I reached and I know it was a good reach, I was getting the ball. So I can vouch 99 steel is insane and Hall of Fame glove is insane. You guys definitely want that on your lockdown builds. Again, that's our job. We got to get stops. We got to play great on-ball defense so we can win. Next is our block. We want to make that a 70. As you guys know, everybody has limitless takeoff on their builds. So we want to have a block on our builds. And that will allow us to get bronze anchor. Bronze anchor is amazing. Anchor, in my opinion, is a great badge because it works at every level. Bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame. So when we put on bronze anchor, it will work. It will help a lot. And not only that, we get silver chase down artist, which we definitely need because everybody has limitless takeoff on their builds. So we're definitely going to need that chase down artist so we can block those limitless takeoff dunks. Offensive rebound, you guys want to make that a 75. This is so we can get more defensive badges, man. We get a lot of Hall of Fame defensive badges. So we want to get as much badges as we can get. So you guys want to make your offensive rebound a 75. And you guys want to make your defensive at 85. So we could get 29 badge points on this build. We're going to need those badge points. And if you guys want to put more badge points on defense, I definitely recommend it. Because you guys want to be the best you can on defense. And with all the Hall of Fame badges that we get, we're going to need the badge points. Because just 25, just 26 is not enough. We need as much as we can get. So if you guys want to put extra badge points on defense, you definitely can. If you don't want to, that's fine. You guys can keep the 29 potential badge points. And make sure you guys upgrade your offensive rebound and your defensive rebound so you guys can get 29 potential badge points. Once you guys are done upgrading your defense, you guys want to go to physicals. Your speed, you guys want to make that a 95. We want to be fast because we got to keep up with the guard. Not only do we have to keep up with the guard, we got to pinch, we got to hedge. Say if you're waiting to get a steal on the inbound, but you miss it and the guard is running down the court, you want to be able to catch up to that guard. 
so we need so we need a high speed on this build that's why we made it at 95 next is acceleration you guys want to make your acceleration at 80 you guys want to have a fast speed boost on your build have an 80 acceleration and acceleration doesn't have to just do with dribbling even when you catch the ball and you guys want to run to the paint or you guys catch the ball and you guys want to run to the three-point line that burst of speed you guys get from standing still to running that's all acceleration so you guys want to make it an 80 so you guys can have a fast speed boost next is strength you guys want to make that a 60 so we don't get bullied vertical you guys want to put that at 70 and if you guys are on next gen you guys are on next gen you guys got to make your vertical a 75 so you guys can get pro contact dunks on next gen there is pro contact dunk requirements you need a 75 vertical to get it so you guys have to lower some things so you guys can get a 75 vertical but on current gen you guys can leave your vertical at a 70 I wouldn't put it any lower because you guys do have to go for blocks. So next gen, you guys need a 75 vertical. Current gen, keep it at 70. After you make your vertical a 70, you guys want to go to stamina. You guys want to make it at 85. So you guys can be at 99 overall on this 3 and D2 guard. Shout out to my boy Cully, man. He made an insane lockdown build. This build is really a 5v5 slash rec lockdown. Because the amount of speed you guys get on this build is insane. At 95 speed, you guys can be all over the court. And if you guys get Gym Rat, that's a 99 speed. Which is very, very insane, man. If you guys want to get Gym Rat, I definitely recommend it. You're just going to make this build even better. We also get a 99 steal, a 97 perimeter defense. You guys will be locking people up on this build, man. So once you're done upgrading this build, you guys want to continue. Takeover. Primary takeover, we get slashing, we get sharp and lockdown takeover for me i'm definitely going with sharp takeover and lockdown takeover as my secondary because i want to be more like a perimeter lockdown you guys can go with slashing slashing is not a bad takeover you guys get it really really quick and if you guys are on current gen you guys know once you get one takeover you get the other so if you guys want to go with slashing and get three dunks and get lockdown takeover too you guys can definitely do that but for me i want to have that perimeter lockdown feel so that's why I'm going with Sharp and Lockdown Takeover. Next gen, I would recommend to go with Lock Takeover first, then Sharp Takeover or Double Lock Takeover. But on current gen, you get Takeover at the same time, so it doesn't really matter which you put as your primary or secondary. But I would recommend to put Lock Takeover because you guys are locked down. Once you're done picking your Takeover, you guys can continue. And boom! We have a 3 and D 2 guard. Shout out to my boy Cully for this Lockdown build. It's super fast on the off ball. It gets a high three pointer. It gets contacts. It can shoot. It has insane defense. We get so many defensive badges on this build as well. And you guys know I got you guys with the best badges. So let's get into it. All right. So the best badges for this 3 and D 2 guard, what you guys want to use? You guys want to use Acrobat on bronze. You guys want to use Limitless Takeoff on gold. Slithery Finish your silver. Fearless Finish your bronze. And Posterize your silver because we do get contact dunks. Next is shooting, what you guys want to do, you guys want to use catch and shoot on gold, because we will be spotting up. Green machine on silver, you guys can put it on gold if you guys want to, but I feel like silver is just as good as gold, so I'm going to keep it on silver, you guys can put in gold if you guys want to. Play more on gold, corner specialist silver, guard up on bronze, and the middle range on bronze. Next is playmaking, what you guys want to use, you guys want to use needle threader on silver, dimer on silver. Of course you guys can put it down and put on special delivery, break starter. You know what I'm saying? You guys can put Needle Threader on bronze, get some break starter, get some bailout. Playmaking is preference at this point because you only got six badges to use. So I just went with Needle Threader and Diamond on Silver. Next is defense. And defense, what you guys want to use? You guys want to use Bronze Anchor. Please put Bronze Anchor on your builds. You guys won't regret it. You guys want to use Challenger on Gold. You guys want to use Glove on Hall of Fame. Glove Hall of Fame is OP. Definitely want that on your builds. You guys want to use Chase Down Artist on Silver interceptor silver i don't feel like you need a hall of fame because we have a 99 steel so 99 steel with a silver interceptor we should still get all the lanes but again put those extra badges on defense so you guys can get all the hall of fame badges you guys want you guys can even upgrade interceptor to hall of fame or get other badges so i definitely recommend to put extra badge points on defense on current gen and next gen next what you guys want to use you guys want to use clamps on hall of fame you guys can put that down to silver if you guys want to and get other badges but i'm gonna keep it on hall of fame so we can get bumpy and not slide so much and menace on hall of fame because menace is a crazy badge very op badge you guys definitely want to put menace on hall of fame because it gets you more bumps and it drains the energy of the guy you bump so we definitely want menace on hall of fame so those are the best badges for this build man if you guys like this lockdown build leave a like down below 
Also hit that subscribe button. We got more builds on the way and we're getting really, really close to 2K24, man. And you guys know I got you guys with 2K24 content and 2K24, I have faith that we're gonna take off, man. God has really blessed his channel and I know he's gonna bless you even more on 2K24. So I have faith we're gonna take off on 24. I'm gonna push out a lot of content on 24. So hit that subscribe button. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Have a blessed day. Peace.